how does it feel getting to have the story that's 47 years old be told this way? We never thought it would happen. You know, really? uh, yeah. When when George uh, called us all up from LA to uh, the San Rafael to, to do Empire, he hired us with the caveat of like, you know, if this doesn't make any money, you know, it's game over. And, you know, you guys can go back to L.A. and be gig workers. Yeah. It, it didn't work out that way. It was, yeah, it was two years. We came up, that was it. So uh, it was nice to sort of say, sorry, I got to be gone to, for friends and family for two years, but I'll be back. And then here we are. <laughs> <We're still here. laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we all went all of us the original 10 or 12 that came up from LA probably went through something like that yeah yeah so is it surreal now having this be a big you know at the time you didn't think it was any big deal but now it's this it's it's this huge part of film history and and visual effects and animation history um that warrants this six-part documentary I, you know and we had no idea that films were even going to go in this direction you know, we knew that, that you know they were they were getting bigger because of Star Wars and George's stories. People wanted to see those, but that was really models of motion control. And then they got a little more experimental. We got Dragon Slayer in there, and with animals also, and more. And then over the years, it's just taken off. And I think it's literally filling my generation who grew up on television. Mm -hmm. See so much stuff go by and be able to what we used to call channel flippers quickly. You could look at a new new new, cha new channel, new channel quickly. That we were our speeds moved up, our whole expectancy of things sped up, and they could follow these newer stories that people like George and Spielberg and other guys were telling. 